Hi, yes, I'm uh, Lee Ferguson. I'm an associate professor at Duke University in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. And my laboratory focuses on development and application of high resolution mass spectrometry methods for analyzing and identifying emerging contaminants in the environment, specifically using non-targeted analysis. So analyzing PFAS compounds in environmental matrices and especially untargeted analysis of PFAS is really a challenge for a number of reasons. Specifically, these compounds often occur at really low levels in a complex background. So we need to be able to have high sensitivity as well as really rapid and high coverage MSMS acquisition so that we can get the information that we need to be able to discern and annotate these compounds in these complex mixtures. And specifically for PFAS compounds, one of the real challenges is that many of these compounds don't actually occur in chemical databases very commonly, such as PubChem or even CAS. And also specifically for mass spectrometry analysis, a real challenge is that publicly available mass spectral libraries such as MZ Cloud and NIST and MassBank often uh, are relatively poor in coverage for this specific class of compounds. So all of these things come together to make PFAS uh, analysis and specifically non-targeted PFAS analysis in the environment really challenging. I've done quite a bit of analysis in my laboratory using Thermo Fisher Scientific mass spectrometers uh, all the way from triple quadrupoles uh, such as the TSQ Altus MS as well as the Fusion Lumos uh, MS. So my impression after uh, working with the new Thermo Scientific uh, Orbitrap Explorus 240 MS system is that the combination of the ultra high resolution and high mass accuracy with the new Acquirex uh, data dependent analysis uh, routine is a real game changer. We're able to push that up to even 100% MS2 acquisition coverage and for really complex mixtures, for example, river water samples where we were able to discern uh, almost 7,000 individual compounds, we were able to still maintain over 90% MS2 data acquisition capability. And this really helps us to gain the information that we need to be able to annotate those compounds using both library matching as well as uh, other annotation tools. Now, one of the other really important features that we've noticed uh, using the Orbitrap Explorers 240 system is uh, the very high mass accuracy stability. And this is really critical for environmental non-targeted analysis. Uh, in our experience, even over a period of uh, two to three days after mass calibration, we're still getting routinely less than 0.5 ppm mass accuracy uh, for environmental mixtures, uh, including river water samples, complex uh, mixtures of PFAS in aqueous film forming foams and other types of wastewaters. So instruments such as the Explorus 240 mass spectrometer that really combine ultra high resolution with very, very stable and high mass accuracy while maintaining fast data acquisition and really sensitive analysis uh, really have the opportunity to push environmental analytical chemistry uh, forward in a big way.